G'day everyone, today we're going to take a look at a game named Jump. Jump is a game I made when I was about 12 or 13 years old, and it's sort of an important milestone in game development for me, uh, mostly because it's the first game that I made that used bitmap graphics. Um, it's very simple, so this will be a short video today. Uh, it has a lot of very bad sound effects in it, so I apologise for the ear rape. Uh, but you're basically this sort of grey reddish character up at the top. And you get points when you jump. If you run into that green guy there, and you have to really specifically run into them, like, exactly. Uh, if you run into him, you lose um, a point of health. And if you get that white dot hit you in exactly the right spot, um, you lose some of the points you've accumulated. Um, and every time any of these actions happen, it makes an annoying noise. Um, although at the time I didn't think it was annoying, but you know, it, it's an annoying noise, let's be honest. Um, so there, there are some good features of this game. Like it has a nice purple background that's dithered. And it's got all these blocks and, you know, for, for someone that was quite young at the time, the graphics aren't too bad. Although there's not really um, any animation frames for the sprites that are moving around. Uh, at, you know, considering it was the first game I made using bitmap graphics, it's hardly a surprise. Uh, there's a few things that I think I probably could have improved upon at the time. Uh, part of the reason for the slow frame rate is because I redraw all the brick objects as well as the sprite characters. So I probably could probably could have made the game work a bit faster or um, a bit smoother with less flicker if I just basically found a way to not redraw every brick and every element of the game every frame. Um, the reason I did that is because you can actually go through these bricks if you don't land exactly on the top of them. And that's basically another thing that could really be improved to this, is the collision detection is, well, non-existent. Uh, but, like I said, this for a first game, it's it's okay. Um, oh, gee, get, get hit by them again. Uh, there was actually a follow-up to this. Um, the code for a later game called Dodge was actually based on the, this one. And it added a lot more features such as more sprites and things to interact with. Um, and more things to collect and pick up. Uh, but unfortunately I lost that, that game uh, to a bad floppy disk quite some time ago. Um, so I may one day um, recode it or just build something new with the same graphics because uh, I do actually still have the uh, data files for the graphics for that game. So um, there we go. Um, that's a quick look at my old game named Jump. Just as we end up with all this annoying sound right here. Ouch. Uh, I'll try to find somewhere a little bit less noisy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this, this is a pretty easy game. Um, you will eventually die, but yeah, it's it's not much of a challenge. So that's that's the other problem is the the game mechanics itself are sort of like yeah, it's it's too easy. Anyhow, uh, I think we're done here. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.